Good afternoon for all of you. I hope you are fine, you and your family. Please stay at home and be careful. Today, inshallah, we will start to complete the lessons. We start in the class. We will move on the syllabus. With you, Mr. Mustafa Ibrahim from Tabarak Private School. In the last video, we finished the chapter 2 of reaction kinetics about rate of reaction and how to calculate the order of reaction. And now, inshallah, we will start with chapter 3. Chapter 3 about equilibrium quantitative equilibrium last year in grade 11 you take something about uh, equilibrium if you remember kc and kp but don't worry don't worry about what we take in grade 11 we will talk again and what we need exactly in this chapter firstly we want to know what is the difference between reversible and irreversible reactions we have generally in chemistry two types of reactions reversible and irreversible reactions what is the difference between these two reactions we have if the reaction it goes for one direction so it is irreversible but what is meant by reversible reactions Reverse, reversible reaction it is written by bold the reactions that go in two directions two directions forward and reverse or forward and backward reaction as shown in the example blue N2 plus O2 see, see the arrow how the arrow is drawn both directions forward and backward or reverse directions so what is meant by reversible reactions reversible reactions they are the reactions which go in two directions forward and backward or forward and reverse reaction as shown in blue so this the first point in the equilibrium about what is the difference between reversible and irreversible reaction Re irreversible irreversible reaction go in one direction forward the direction only but reversible reactions go in two directions forward and backward it means that the reactants can react to give products and the reverse reaction products react to give the reactants again so this what is meant by reversible reaction after that if we have a reversible reaction we can reach equilibrium we can reach what equilibrium equilibrium it means balancing but balancing in what a number of moles or in what we will see now so we will move to what is meant by dynamic equilibrium how can i reach the dynamic equilibrium dynamic equilibrium it means we said reversible reaction so dynamic equilibrium it can occur only in reversible reactions but in irreversible reaction no equilibrium so it is necessary to say that i reach dynamic equilibrium to have a reversible reaction so what is meant by dynamic equilibrium it occurs only when we have a reversible reaction when I will reach dynamic equilibrium when the rate of forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction again dynamic equilibrium what is meant by dynamic equilibrium it means when we have a rever reversible reaction when the rate of forward reaction equals the rate of reverse reaction now we can say that we reach dynamic equilibrium after that we have another point about the ionic product of water firstly concentrate with me you will find all the questions in homework 
will be uploaded and model about these parts so in the ionic product of water kw k it means equilibrium constant k k kc kp ka kb k it means equilibrium constant and the letter after k it refers to the substance or the compound we calculate for it the equilibrium constant for water w water so the first letter is w so kw it refers to what the ionic product of water so if i asked you you see now two reactions these two reactions are correct when i asked you write the dissociation reaction of water again these two reactions are what the dissociation reaction of water so when you want to write the dissociation reaction of water you have two methods both are correct firstly h2o gives h positive plus oh negative or if you have two h2o you get h3o and oh negative again again the dissociation reaction dissociation reaction we have two correct reactions number one if you write one h2o so it gives h positive and oh negative if we write two h2o you will get h3o positive and oh negative so it doesn't matter in the next lessons if i write h positive or h3o positive both the same no difference between hydrogen and hydronium ions hydrogen you know h positive h3o positive they are called what hydronium ions hydronium ions h3o positive and oh we know it is called hydroxide ion so kc or kp from last year if you remember kc it refers to concentration but concentration of what concentration of products over concentration of reactants concentration of what over what again concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants so if i want to write kc for the second reaction concentrate with me in the second reaction kc equals concentration of products which are what and what h positive and oh negative divided by concentration of reactant reactant which is what h2o you over h2o but we have in water the concentration of water as it is pure liquid so its concentration will be constant it doesn't matter its amount and kc also it's a constant value so if we make cross multiplication we will get kc times h2o equals h positive times oh negative finally what is kw kw concentrate with me kw equals h positive times oh negative concentration of hydrogen ions times concentration of hydroxide ions so what is kw we said it is called the ionic product of water it's called what the ionic product of water or like i said before it is called equilibrium constant equilibrium constant but for water this kw so from these two slides you have to know two important points number one what is the dissociation reaction of water h2o gives h positive plus oh negative or 2h2o gives h3o positive plus oh negative number two kw the unit product equals what h positive times oh negative you will see in the last of this page on the table kw h positive concentration of hydrogen times the concentration of hydroxide equals 10 to the power negative 14 is this value constant value yes it is constant value but at 
25 degrees Celsius or 298 kelvins again this value is constant at 25 degrees Celsius can we change the value of KW we will see now at we said at 25 degrees Celsius or equals to 25 degrees Celsius plus as we know in chapter 1 plus 273 equals 298 kelvins how to convert from Celsius to Kelvin plus 273 so 25 plus 273 equals 298 Kelvin so at 25 degrees Celsius or at 298 Kelvin the value of Ka equals 10 to the power negative 14 what is the measuring unit? C it is concentration of H times the concentration of OH so what is the measuring unit of concentration? mole dot dm to the power negative 3 times mole dot dm to the power negative 3 so the measuring unit totally of kw is mole square dm to the power negative 6 again the measuring unit of kw mole square dm to the power negative 6 after that in pure water pure water as you know it is not acidic not basic not acidic not basic it is neutral it is what neutral so if it is neutral we know H positive this for acidic OH for basic or alkaline if both are equal H positive equals OH negative so the solution any solution will be neutral so I can replace now OH and I put H because both are the same so KW equals H square concentration of hydrogen square so now we substitute the value of KW which is 10 to the power negative 14 KW concentration of hydrogen square if we need the concentration of hydrogen we will take what the square root of kw so the square root of kw it will be 10 to the power negative 7 10 to the power what negative 7 and you know before that if any substance is neutral not basic not acidic it means its ph value will be 7 <coughs> so we said for acidic solution h positive concentration of hydrogen will be greater than concentration of hydroxide ions if it is alkaline or basic solution concentration of hydroxide will be higher than concentration of hydrogen but if it is neutral solution concentration of hydrogen equals concentration of hydroxide but before few minutes don't forget I said KW is constant value at 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin so how can I change this value only one factor can change the value of KW temperature only by changing the temperature the value of KW is changed how by increasing it, the relation is directly as the temperature increases the KW will also increase but if I said at 25 degrees Celsius it is constant 10 to the power negative 14 so only one factor can change the value of KW is the temperature after that for example if we increase temperature instead of 298 Kelvins we make it 321 Kelvin the value we find that the value of kw equal 4 times 10 to the power negative 14 now we want to calculate the ph firstly if we want to calculate ph we have a rule it is very important down ph equals minus log concentration of hydrogen again ph equals minus log concentration of hydrogen 
So firstly, we don't know the concentration of hydrogen. We have only in the question the value of Kw. So how can I find the concentration of hydrogen? Write the first formula, we take it. Kw, H positive times OH negative. And we know this is water. In pure water, we know H equals OH. So we can replace OH and put H positive. So now Kw equals the concentration of hydrogen squared. So like we said before, if you want concentration of hydrogen, you will take square root of this value, 4 times 10 to the power negative 14. It gives you 2 times 10 to the power negative 7. After that, by your calculator, BH minus log 2 times 10 to the power negative 7, you will find the pH value equals 6.7. Again, if I increase temperature, you find the value of Kw increases. So, how can you find the pH or the concentration of hydrogen? Firstly, you replace OH by H. So, now Kw equals concentration of hydrogen squared. So, hydrogen concentration equals square root of Kw. So, by your calculator, you can find the value of concentration of hydrogen. If I ask about pH minus log concentration of hydrogen, you will find it equals 6.6. Don't forget that your homework is uploaded on model. And I hope you understand the lesson. And don't forget to solve the homework. Thank you for listening and goodbye. I hope uh, I hope you are enjoy the listening and you understand the topic we explain today. We appreciate the efforts of Mr. Yunus Rahbi, the chairman of Tabarak Private Schools Group. And don't forget your homework is uploaded on model on Tabarak Private School site. Thank you and goodbye.